the bar, and then we'll do the sweep as well. Okay, I get the elbows, I break them down, he keeps his hands in, control the head. Now, last time I didn't really explain this very well, I don't need the cross grip here, okay, nearly as much if he's not, if his arms aren't extended. If I can get my leg to his hip here, I should be okay, right? But if I can't, for whatever reason, he's keeping his elbows back, whatever the situation might be, and I need to pull that arm across, that's fine. Right? Really what I'm trying to do is get his elbow inside the line of my hip. That should be all I need. Once I do that, I should be able to step up, pinch that leg to him, and he should have a hard time getting that arm back. Right? So I get my angle, I step over his head, and this leg is caving down on the back of his head. Okay? Squeezing my knees together, not crossing my ankles. Right? Now, if he does try to posture up, my weight should go with him. Okay? My other arm, this bottom arm, the one closest to his legs, is going to go underneath his legs. Right? And I'm going to spin my hips out away from his legs. Curling my legs still this whole time. Right? And then I should be able to hook and now finish on the ground. Cool? We talked yesterday when, in the gi class about always attacking the armbar with that top to bottom grip. Right? Head to legs. Because that all gives me a weapon to hook their legs with and start manipulating where we're at. But if I don't have that arm available to attack the legs, then I've got to go to another option. And we've got other options. This is just a good general rule to start with. One more time. Right? I break him down, get his head, right? step on that hip. Bottom leg's going to kick up. The first rep, go ahead, finish the arm bar. Okay, second rep, okay, maybe he defends. Go ahead and rear naked choke grip. Yep, bone here, rear naked choke grips. That's fine. I'm still, all that weight's on the back of his head. I'm trying to touch my right foot, the one under his armpit. I'm trying to touch it to the ground above his head as I spin my hips towards it. Now I should be able to use any of those grips we used, grip breaks we used yesterday, kick him in the head, whatever it takes. Questions? All right, so first rep armbar, second rep sweep. One, two, three. 